Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine on this Saturday morning. In today's episode we're gonna have a look as usual on the Bitcoin price, on the different time frames and also we're gonna have a look at the end on some uh, altcoins. So make sure to watch the video till the end. So before we start, a reminder, we closed the CMEs, the CMEs closed at $9,220 and we also closed above the 50 daily moving average, which is a very bullish sign. So in theory, here on the CME chart, we are still bullish and in theory, now we are still bouncing here between the 50 and 20 daily moving average and we are still waiting for a breakout. In my opinion, it looks like that we could see a potential breakout to the downside, but currently we are still in track here, so we could see at any time also a breakout here to the upside towards $10,500 here on the CMEs, but currently the market it stopped and that's why we have to go back to the Bitstamp chart and analyze what is going on right now. So currently I have a very small a short position that I opened in yesterday's live stream over on uh, Twitch here on uh, BitYard but it is just a risky small short position with the 20x leverage just in case that during the weekend we might see a possible dump here potentially here to retest 9000 or even lower here levels towards $8,700 where also the bottom is of this falling wedge that we are still maintaining right now. We had here an initial breakout here to the upside but we retrace back down here and currently we are holding this yellow line support so this $9,000 level and currently we didn't break below but in case of a breakout to the downside I'm prepared for it and also I'm targeting here this $8,700 potentially even down here to the 200 daily moving average at $8,300 but let's start now with the one hour time frame let's start here with the short time frames because currently the 20 moving average in the one hour is still giving us a resistance and is pressing the price down towards the support of $9,000. We have to wait and see what will happen if in case that we are not gonna see a breakout here to the upside and also break here this $9,300 resistance that is coming down here. If the price is continuously to press us down towards the support of 9,000, there might we gonna see a potential breakout here to the downside. RSI is also below the 50, stochastic is now in neutral condition coming from overbought. So also here it looks like that we're keeping here the 20 moving average as a resistance in the one hour. And even if we have a look on the Bollinger Band in the one hour, you can see that we are right in the middle area. MACD is still shifted to the upside, so in theory we could see a bounce from it. But looking at the moving average here, it looks like that we are having too much resistance currently. It can change at any time, this is just a one hour time frame. Currently we are not able to start to trade above the 20 moving average. And if we go over to the four hour time frame, also here you can see a similar formation. We are trading below the 20 moving average average in the four hour so as long as we are trading below which currently is at 9230 we are definitely shifted to the downside and potentially this moving average will press down the price towards the 9000 and then we're gonna have a breakout to the upside and start to build up support above the 20 moving average or we are going to fail here and potentially see the price going towards this $8,700 target. The RSI here is also still trading below the 50, stochastic is in neutral territory. So also in the four hour time frame, it looks more bearish than bullish currently. And if we have a look on the Bollinger Band, here also you can see that we are still trading here in the lower part after overshooting it to the downside. We just retraced back into the middle area and we're waiting now for a next move here to the upside or to the downside based on the Bollinger Band, most likely to the downside here towards the bottom of $9,030. But you can see that the MACD is getting flat here. So there is a high chance that we could see maybe a bullish cross. And in that case, the target would be to reach here this $9,400 resistance to retest it, potentially even go towards $9,500. But keep in mind that we close the CMEs at $9,220. So even if we see a pump towards $9,500 and we're gonna stay there, there, we're gonna have a new future gap down to $9,220 so keep that in mind and now we can go over to the daily time frame because here on the Bitstamp chart it is still looking more bearish than bullish not like on the CMEs because here we are trading below the 20 and 50 daily moving average 
those moving averages currently are slightly above our resistance here of $9,400. So even if we see a pump, most likely we're gonna top out here at these price levels. We have the RSI also below the 50. Stochastic is coming down to oversold condition, but here also in the stochastic, we can stay for many days in oversold before we're gonna see a potential bounce to the upside. The thing is that the RSI is just starting to trade below the 50. So that means that we have a lot of room left to the downside and we could easily drop down here towards the 200 daily moving average at $8,300. This is my first bearish target to be reached here, the 200 daily moving average. And if this one will not hold or if we cannot bounce and recover immediately back up towards 10k the next target would be down here at the 0.618 fib line at 6400 and we would still maintain the bullish trend here to the upside even though we could see a retracement back down to 6400 dollar and now we can also have a look on the bollinger band in the daily because also here we're trading in the lower part so in theory we could easily trade between nine thousand dollar up to nine thousand four hundred dollar this is my price range for this weekend let's see when the markets open up again on monday what will happen but during the weekend this is my trading range that i think the price could easily bounce up and down and uh, macd is also still shifted to the downside so i'm still currently more bearish than bullish and that's why I also opened yesterday in the live stream a little short position. The big long position I'm starting to scale in between $8,000 to $6,400. That trade still have to come. I'm still waiting for a potential drop. And that trade I'm going to do over here on uh, Bybit. So in case that you also want to take advantage of these pumps and dumps and you also want to trade Bitcoin or also other altcoins and other assets up to 100x leverage, you can do that for example here on Bybit. If you need an account, you find the link down below here in the video description. You can get $90 for free bonus on Bybit. $72 you can also get on Femex. That's a similar exchange. Here you can trade also gold. And the other exchange that I very recommend you if you trade with high volume and you want to trade with Tether, then BitYard is your exchange because here on the BitYard you can trade directly all the coins that you see here on the list with Tether. So you don't have to own the coins, you just can send Tether over here and trade all these coins here also with leverage. All right, and now let's go back to the Bitstamp chart. And since we are here in the daily time frame, let's have a look also on some altcoins. And we can start with Ethereum because also Ethereum currently, it looks like that we could fall from this uh, support line that we had. We have the RSI right at the 50 level, stochastic coming down to oversold condition, very similar like Bitcoin. Here also you can see that we're trading between the 20 daily and 50 daily moving average, similar like Bitcoin on the CMEs. So I guess Ethereum is also waiting for the next move of Bitcoin because we have a very similar situation here. And also if you go into the lower time frames, it looks like that we have a breakout pretty soon here, potentially also to the downside. As currently, it looks like that we are having too much resistance up here at those levels and also possible retracement back to the 200 daily moving average here at around $188 is very possible in my opinion. And in case of this breakout, think about that also on Ethereum, which in my opinion is still very underrated. This might be one of the last opportunities to buy very cheap Ethereum. And if we go over to Litecoin, Litecoin is also currently trading below the 20 and 50 daily moving average. We are not able to close daily candles again above these moving averages, which I think also could be very dangerous in case that Bitcoin is going to fall and break out below 9k. I guess that here on Litecoin also we're going to see a big move towards here again, $25, maybe between $25 to $30 because the performance so far of Litecoin didn't convince me very much and it's also not looking too great maybe for the long term yes but here for the short term it looks like that as soon as bitcoin might be in danger and gonna see a bigger dump also litecoin is most likely gonna have like at least 20 30 percent drop hit so from 43 dollars down at least towards 30 dollars and if we go over to xrp xrp is doing a bit different here even though we're trading below the 20 and 50 daily moving average so also here very bearish but it looks like that here we could be forming a potential falling wedge which could break out here to the upside towards the 23 cent level but also here on xrp i don't see any bigger bullish signs or anything like that so most likely even though we could see a potential breakout here to the upside probably it will be just a short lift but this is what we 
we have to see uh, if we're gonna see such a breakout because this area up here also around 23 cents had also here in the past a lot of significance you can see a lot of support and resistance at those uh, levels and now a very nice coin chain link this is what i'm very exciting to buy in in case of a bigger dump because chain link also is looking like we could see a, a top out here but chain link is trading above the 20 and 50 daily moving average which is very very bullish Chainlink had a really great performance you if you were lucky enough to buy Chainlink once we crashed here in March now you would have done very very well and I hope that we're gonna see a correction that I can also get into Chainlink because I think Chainlink is one of the coins that will perform very very well in the next uh, coming up bull run also here in the four hour it looks like that we could be forming here potential descending triangle which could at least for the short term have a negative impact that we could break out here to the downside but if in the stock market and also on bitcoin we're going to have a bigger correction most likely also here on chain link we're going to see a complete retracement possibly down to the 200 daily moving average at around three dollar 23 cents and i think that would be a quite nice entry for chain link if we're really starting to drop that low also you can see that the rsi and stochastic are coming down from overbought conditions so in theory here we are still in a bull market and also we could easily bounce from the 50 level in the rsi and also from the 20 daily moving average which currently is at $4.38 so Chainlink is really one of the coins that I still don't have and I'm really looking forward to buy some of them but currently in my opinion we are topping out here and I'm hoping for a retracement back down to buy some cheap Chainlinks as well and be ready for the next bull run and if you also want to buy chain link you can do that over on binance if you need a binance account you find also the link down below here in the video description and don't forget guys join also our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome you find the invitation link also down below here in the video description and i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join the twitch channel if you have twitch and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers thank you very much for your support guys subscribe to the channel leave a like leave a comment whatever you want and we see us all in the next time bye